you guys welcome back to the channel so now we will be building this global chat so just go ahead and clone this branch otherwise we will be using our previous branch which was signing up and then we will be making some few changes so that we can enter this global chat and I will be using this layout for also to sign in anonymously and I think I haven't defined it for uh, Firebase in signing up too. So we'll be looking to it. So let's get started. So in your Firebase console, insert this authentication and sign in method. Make sure to ena enable this email and password for previous video. And then we'll be also be showing you this anonymous for so set it enable. And in our next sessions, we'll be looking to Facebook authentication and phone authentication too. So now we'll proceed in the recording. So now inside your Android app builder gradle, you need to import this uh, compile list, which is the database for Firebase. As we need to be accessing that Firebase database for the chat, which is right here. And then in main application.java, sorry, Java, we need to import this database package and also return this database package now in boiler we need to import this status bar text input and touchable opacity so just copy them or you can type it let me just beautify it And then we'll be using this text input to for anonymous username, which will take this name. So just define a state call name, and then in render we'll be using this view to show up the status bar, and then text to enter to show this enter name, and then text input. Which will take this test data name and on change on change text it will just set the state of name as text and then it will show up this value and then touchable opacity will show this text for chat room navigation. So let me just copy it. Just we need to import all this. Now we'll be navigating to Glow Chat. So don't forget to put up in this app.js. App.js, you need to import this Glow Chat, which we haven't defined it. We'll be doing it just later. And then for Stack Navigator. You need to define this glow chat. So just go ahead and create this new glow chat dot js. So just go ahead and create this glow chat dot js, and we'll be importing this main components, and then I will be defining as a backend. So just import it for now. I'll explain it to you. And now we'll be using this gifted chat. So it is a package which has been previously de defined. So just go ahead and import them. So now just install this npm and don't forget to link it. Now we'll be proceeding to glow chat where we'll be importing this gifted chat. And then let me just copy them as a whole and I'll explain so now we have defined this flowchart class and in constructor this touch state will set the name as false in initial state and it will also define this message state this hasn't been defined which we'll be looking at later if there is any changes 
So on commanded mount, it will take this backend to load messages. Uh, I need to define backend, so I'll show you this later. So just let me show you this render option. So we have defined this single view, which will show us this scripted chat option, where messages will be this state of message if there is any previous message, or we are entering this on send message, which will send backend as this dot send message if it catches some message here and user will define from backend and name is this the process name which we have been given from this boiler this and now let me show you backend and i'll moving to here and show you how it links so just create this new backends.js and I'll copy them and let me just go into this full screen. So we have imported this Firebase and defined this class, but I think it won't be returning anything because it's just going to link it with Glowchat to return this particular components. So it is defining this UID and message ref as initially for null and constructor it will check for the auth state of the user which we have used for this login and register and also for auth login so if it catches a user it will set the set uid for user id which we have defined here so this that uid will set the value if it catches anything else it will authenticate firebase for sign in obviously whereas in login we have put up this uh, sign in up and if it catches something it will just show you the alert that it has received something error so this part will always be invoked so in working with png this particular layout is being used from the sign up so we have reached this boiler state and it will ask for particular text input and then navigate with to glowchat with the input name which we have got from this text input so as this has been invoked it will just backend at load messages so this backend load messages which is defined right here will be invoked and on invoking this backend it will check on this on auth state and if cat is your user it will set the uid otherwise it will sign in anonymously which we have defined it here for constructor and then for backend load messages it will just put the message ref as for database which is defined as messages which we'll be looking at later on the firebase and it will initially put it in off state and if it on receive it will catch a particular data it will just send a callback of the receiver so if we are the user and we need to show the data of the user which is sending us the chat so our message this are the particular layout and this message if is limited to last only for 20 as the app might crash if there are more messages loaded and then we'll be looking at this glow chat and if the load message catches a load message load message catches message so if there are previously any chats which are going on it will just put the set state of previous state and just append both the previous state messages and current messages so that we are given the layout of showing uh, the previous messages and the currently typed messages which we'll be looking at the demo app so this has been done and this is giving us the layout so now now on render it will return the scripted chat which will check for the message and if we press the on send it will just Go into this backend or send message which it cast this message from the scripted chat so in send message we have defined this layout from initial to the message length and just it will append this text and user and create a time to the server and push it so and then we'll be looking for this user which will get this id from backend or ktu id and name which we have defined from that polar.js so on backend get the 
uh, get UID. It will just return this this UID, which will be getting it from this constructor for on auth state change, similar to login, which will get this user ID if they register user. Otherwise, it will just sign in anonymously and return us this UID for this sign in anonymously account. And then we'll be checking for this name props. So name props has been defined. So and this if we return back to the uh, boiler.js, it will just close chat which we have defined as just if it gets this ref, it will just put in this off state similar to that in here load messages. So now we'll be looking at the demo app. So as we are defined this boiler to show up this text input and then navigate to glue chat, which is this chat room, which I have defined it here for text input and then just to navigate to glue chat using chat room. So on this navigate to here. So we got this glue chat option. I think my server is been down. So it's not showing the layout. So just go ahead and send it. And on the internet connect, it will send it to the server. So let me just show you all what it's been doing. So it just back in a loop message. And if it catches a message, it will just show up on here using the user ID. So yes, it's working. So on this append, we'll just show off this scripted chat, which is this layout. And on my send, it will just send the message, which we have just in, did it right here. And then if we click on back, it will just unmount. So in this database, we are just put up this text using the ID. So this particular ID will be reused next time we use the glow chat and the sign in anonymously we will be using it to just create this particular user once only and the next time we log in it will just check for the user ID and you use this particular user ID for anonymous login. I know we have signed up with the particular layout but we haven't used the login from our previous credential so next we'll be using it for p2p chat or personal chat where we'll be using that our login option which we have used in this authentication so which is defined it right here so that's for today and i'll see you in the next video Survive.